501 dispatch 10 8 Sandy Shores. 10 4. Uh, uh, same craft. 10 4. 505, you are aware of the new jurisdiction limits, correct? 10 4. Or we put those into effect the same day we just got. Just making sure he was aware of, of the actual visual aids that were put into place through the CAD. Oh, I don't know about that. Too technical for it. Negative didn't know about the CAD. I've seen him on SFAR chat from uh, 200. So looking at the map, this is all Sandy Shores inside the blue. So as you can see... Oh, that's nice. The actual game map now shows it too. Thank you. All the way down uh, Route 68, all the way through Harmony. Thank you, 200. All the way up. You're welcome. That makes you all warm and fuzzy inside. Shit, I can all like, go down to Harmony now? That's to be, dude. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 200 just linked it. I'm the one that made it. You're welcome. Thank you for your assistance, Repo. You're a dick. <laughs> no, dick was what I was planning on next in that real play for everybody I already started hopping on. Jesus. I was actually hoping to get stipulations on it before the uh, AOB got changed. Like, all right, nope, I'll cancel it for now. Alright guys, welcome back to our stream. We are now in Sandy Shores up in the rural area. So it ought to make it a little interesting uh, to say the least. We got two active civs, four LEOs, two state and two city. So we should be equipped to deal with most issues. But we will see.
911. 911, what's your emergency? Uh, yeah, I was driving down Joshua near 883, and I saw a gentleman on a, I can't remember what color it was, but it was a Sanchez. He was sitting behind the billions of 883, and I think he may have done like a hand to hand transaction with some guy. I didn't see the other vehicle or where it went, but I just saw that guy. He was sitting there, and I mean, he might be doing drugs or something, man. Okay, sir, just to make sure I understood, you do not know direction of travel. I, the Sanchez was still sitting there when I was driving. I was, I'm was i heading towards the Interstate 1, but uh, the, the guy in the Sanchez was still sitting there. Okay, sir. Do you have an do you have a description of the odd person or uh the the guy that was behind there that I think he's doing drugs or smoking or something, but he was a white male. I, that's all I know. Okay, sir. We'll have an officer out there. Thank you for letting him. Sounds good. Five oh one. Dispatch. Myself and 505 will be 23 in the area. 10 4. Five foot Uh, Bob, this bad was your description on that sand chance, like what color it was? Negative. Ten four. Show end of foot patrol, negative contact behind 883. I'll be in. Hey, uh, hit the freeway and go south down to Panoram. 505. 505. Oh, correction, never mind. Hey, five. stop right there. What's your voice proximity set to? Should be extremely close. Am I? Yeah, put it on very close. Because extremely close is like five meters. So when I'm trying to talk to you in my car, you just drive away because you don't think I'm talking to you. <laughs> Um, okay, my bad, man. <laughs> I thought you were just holding traffic if I can get out. My no, you, you're good. Um, hit this little side road over here where we had that theft call. Um, go down there, okay. make sure you check it really good, and then hit the freeway and go down to Panorama. I'm going to go up to Grapeseed and then come back down and go back into town. Down four. Five oh one dispatch. Five oh one. If you could um, see if either eight oh two or nine five one can uh, just do a extra patrol around grape seed for that vehicle due to jurisdictional restraints from us. Ten four eight oh two. Go ahead. Copy traffic from five oh one. 
Yeah. About. <laughs> Go ahead. 802 is 10 7 and stay 10 8 at Sandy Shores. 10 4. That voice. Five oh five, you clear on traffic. Ten four, cat just got updated. In right. Did the caller advise what the color of the ruin or what? Eight oh two. What was the vehicle? Just all we got was a ruiner. Ten four. I have a black ruiner parked with the door open at the Felicia Bank. Eight three. Henry Young John nine three. In route. That's probably our vehicle. Oh uh, five. Same traffic. Negative contact on a ruiner. Joshua Road heading towards Harmony. Five oh one male subject standing against the wall came out of the bank. Hey, sir. Sir. What? What's up? Hey. Do you know where that car came from? Eight oh two, uh, Sandy Shore. Which car? That black ruiner over there. Eight oh two. Black one over there. Verify yeah. Plate eight three Henry Young John nine three four if you would. Doing a little bit of shopping. I needed some money from the bank, so. Yeah, for standby. Thinking about getting some new threads. You know, this stuff's kind of out of style. I got gotcha. you. So, do you know where that car came from? Uh, nope. I did not even know it was there until it came out of the bank. Okay, five is twenty-eight again, please. Okay. Eight three Henry Young John nine three four eight three Hotel Young. Juliet. It's pretty nice out today. It is. You got your ID on you? Eight three Hotel yeah, Young my, Juliet. Uh, comes back no, no. Car or anything. It's a non-valid driver's license. Until we covered the last three nine three. Uh, Negative. You cut out. Ten four. Last three nine three four. Nine or three four. Ten four. Thank you. Oh, Mr. Watkins. You again. Yep. <laughs> I'm on my meds today. That's that's a good thing. That is a very good thing. All right, yeah, look, Mr. Watkins. Ten four Sandy Shores. I'm going to tow the vehicle that's right. running unoccupied. Doors open. So, you do... I hope that you see my concern with a vehicle recently being reported stolen and carjacked and then it being located over here with the door open and you're seeing exit the bank 
You were the only one inside the bank. I mean, you see how that looks. I mean, I, I see how it is, but I wasn't alone at the time. There was this uh, other dude, but he'd already taken off. I don't know what he was driving. I don't know what he looked like. That's about it. What, what did he look like? And he was seen driving it. I never see. I didn't. Oh, I didn't see him get out of a vehicle. I was just inside the bank. Uh, that car wasn't there when I went inside the bank. When I came out, it was parked up front. I got gotcha. you. Hey. Uh, I don't know if he had any involvement. Five oh five. Can you hear me? Hey, five oh five. Will you check with uh, Fleeka Bank? employees and see if uh, the camera over there is working see if we can get a positive ID on the driver hey guys been doing today You've been all right until we found out somebody got carjacked where, where are you coming from? Um, coming up from that way, or yonder, whatever way that is. I gotcha. So how'd you get here from Los Santos? Oh, no, not like that far away, like right across the road from like the motel. I just been walking around. Oh, I gotcha. How'd you get to the motel? I gotcha. They treating you all right over at the motel? Dirty, but it'll do. It's better than what I used to be living in. I gotcha. Used to be homeless, so can't, uh, can't complain. Yeah. Yeah, slash OOC and then space and then whatever you're going to type. Hey, 802. You see that black car over my left shoulder across the road? Eight oh two. Eight oh two, you hear me on uh in game? No, I can't hear you at all. I saw your mouth move. Can't hear me now. Aha, I gotcha. See that black car across the street? Uh, yeah. This is the second call now to where I've seen him show up. Uh, uh, what's his name? Jimmy Watkins. Yeah. Jimmy Watkins. Sorry, I was talking on the radio. Yeah. You hear me now? There we go. Yeah. Jimmy Watkins is his name. Simple. Follow five. Follow five. Follow five. Good. Security footage reveals suspect Drew Wiss, exact same clothing, both came in with the ruiner and ex exiting the ruiner and then entering the Gotcha. All right, Mr. Watkins, look. I asked him to go ahead and save it for us to pick it up here. Hey, hey, what's the big idea? 
All right, look, man. Here's the deal. All right, the uh, the bank employees over here they access the camera footage. The camera footage shows you driving that Thank ruiner over here, exiting and coming into the bank. So that's kind of where we're at. You have anything on you that's going to poke me, stick me, or hurt me? I see that. You got what appears to be methamphetamine, uh, four bags of it, and four bags of weed. So apparently that motel is treating you very nice. Um, 505, do you want to, uh, since you did, you talked to the bank employees and whatnot, do you want to transport and do the report? Simple, I can. I can. Alright. Um, you'll have to give me some of the bits and pieces from the beginning, though. But. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. If you'll put him in your car, I'll walk over there with you. Alright. That's my phone, not my car. Delegation at its finest. Oh, come on. Will you unlock your car? Will you unlock your car? Yeah. Alright, well then I'm just going to give this to you. You can put it in your trunk. Um, what do you Stand have? By. I can't hear you. Sorry about that. You're good, man. Sit down. All right. Try again. Um, I'm sorry, man. So, I tried to put that in your trunk, but it wouldn't go. So, um, you can put it in your trunk, but I gave it to you. It's four packages of methamphetamine and four packages of weed. Uh, we found on his person after he was placed under arrest. Okay. Um, other than that, that the call got initiated or whatnot, 802 um, identified a black ruiner with his door yes. open and running over here. Can you not hear me? I can. Yeah. Oh, like from right here, I, I could not hear you at all. That's strange. Five meters is stupid close. Like, I think this is the limit of five meters right now. I, I really think you're right. <laughs> like, you literally have to be right in their face. This is like a whisper. Yeah, I always have mine set to, to very close, so I can talk to people while I'm parked in the car and whatnot. I do too. Alright, so the call came out. It was uh, a, a ruiner is re reported as being uh, carjacked from the low Yellow Jack location. Uh, we arrived on scene, didn't make any contact, we then saturated the area. 802 located the ruiner over here in front of the store with the door open and the vehicle still running. He then identified a subject over here that said that he came out of the bank and then sat right there. I arrived on scene, I made contact with him, and then that's when you shortly pulled up on scene. So, and then you did, then from there, you did your bit. Okay, just make sure this is going to be both the arrest and incident, or... Um, so what you do is you put a arrest report on Jimmy Watkins, you list the charges, and then you submit it. And then the incident report will have your narrative. Okay. Report. I'll get that started. I'll go ahead and get this, this drop, these drops. What, uh, what that guy say? Stopped him and got behind him, pulled him out. You know, only PC I really had is where he said he's been in two calls now. So I got out, talked to him. He let me freely search the car. 
uh, no type of CB or anything like that in the car that I observed. He does have a CB or no type of scanner in the car that I observed. He does have a ham radio as well as CB. I gotcha. Uh, either of which were on, but the vehicle was turned off at the same time. Uh, apparently, he's getting his car ready to do some jumping over next to the airport in the part that's not part of the national park. Apparently, him and Hooker are getting together to do that. Well, already then. Yep. Yeah, well, we are over at 883 Joshua Road uh, looking for a suspicious person. He rolled by and was like slowly rolling by and like really looking at us. And then all of a sudden we ended up over here and then he parked, parked over there a good bit and then backed up into the garage. So I guess he saw yeah. me looking at him. Do you need me here still? I'm not reading the. No, you're good. 10 4 5 5 show me 10 6 prisoner D 10. Alright, well, I'm gonna clear. Uh, we'll just extend the jurisdiction. Hopefully, he okay. they stay in the jurisdiction of Sandy. Yeah. Because that map is uh, viewable by sieves too. So if we say Sandy Shores, hopefully they it, that blue line gives them a barrier of like where to stay at. Common sense is staying in this area. <laughs> yeah. But Stip seems like he's pretty good, so it seems like he'll yeah, he'll follow he's, suit. He's like he's doing good. Yeah. Five 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 one direct. Go ahead. Can be advised, we've got the suspect in the back asking if he can talk to somebody in reference to potentially lowering his time for question. I'll be in route. I I've gotta, already ran to this Miranda rights. He's still willing to want to talk to somebody. I gotta change anyway. 10-4, I'll be in route. Yep. Just meet me at Alhambra. The police station, right? Yeah, 10-4. 10-4, I'm already on scene. I wonder how this is going to go. Five zero one eight zero two is nine five one. Getting back on. Negative. I believe he's gonna be ten seven in Worth. And what? Worth under. Yeah, ah. That's a game I haven't played in a while. Wants to be a pilot. Actually, rocking tanks right now. To uh, honest. did somebody hit a button? No. I just got pulled out of my car at 65 I, miles an hour. I pulled Simpleton out of his vehicle, but I'm already at the station. Weird. Did it happen like literally just a few seconds ago? Yeah, probably right when you pulled him out because I had handcuffed him, so that probably had something to do with it. Get all your booking information and I'll get you into the booking station and you can have an officer talk to you and we'll go from there. Okay. Alright. Oh, 
money. Partly hope I'm going the right way. Been a while since I've done this. Yeah, there we go. Change pants. Uh, Simpleton, are you still here with me? Templeton, can you hear me? I'm hearing a lot of work here. There we go. Alright, found you. Baba one, if you're looking for us, we're underneath the stay empty booking. Oh, look at this. First order left. Hold on, stand by. Stop moving me. What the fuck are you doing? What are you talking about? Oh, there you are. I didn't even see you, man. Douchebag. You literally just popped up. You've been invisible for me the whole time. <laughs> Alright, that's all the, that's the photos taken care of. He's typed into the uh, booking. Do you want to take over on the whole booking and process while I type the report up, or how do you want to handle this? Uh, yeah, that's that's fine. All right. So if they want to talk to somebody, then I'll go ahead and get started on the uh, report. Can I help you? Uh, yes, hello. My name's Tom Jones. I run and own the Fleeker Banks. I heard that you guys needed the video footage. Ah, yes. Alright, here you go. Alright, I heard you wanted the, the talk. There you go. If you don't mind just to sign this clipboard here, just showing that you turned over the said paperwork or said uh, video footage. Just that way, there's check custody of it. I heard that you wanted to talk. There you go. I've just got I've got major so texture loss, so I can't see anybody. All right. Oop. Thank you. All right, sir. We appreciate it. No it's, problem. It's probably because you're loading else in. If we can help you with, please let me know. Absolutely. Alrighty, have a good one. I'm trying to get out of their earshot, too. Uh, are we gonna talk? Are we gonna talk? Yeah, we're gonna talk. Okay. Alright. What's up? Okay, um... Uh, you guys would be able to go easier on me if I tell you where I got those drugs? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, 
Um, let's try not to be a snitch before because he threatened he'd kill me if I said anything. But you remember that guy in the black uh, off-road vehicle that mm-hmm. was up by the bank whenever you guys were talking to him? Yeah. That guy, he was the one that I bought from. I bought from him earlier today, and it was behind the eight. It was about behind the building of 883 East Joshua Road. Okay. About like two hours or today or so. Okay. All right. Well, I look. I know his name because he never told me it, but. All right. So look, what I can, what I can do. All right, because if this information pans out, then that's going to be awesome. All right. So. Every baggie that you my had. My phone should be in my property. Okay. Um, every cell phone or every uh, baggie of meth is an individual felony. So we can drop those those charges and the possession of weed. We can drop that too. Unfortunately, I can't do anything about the cars because you did. I do have you driving that vehicle and that vehicle was stolen all right so that victim is going to want to press charges on you so there's nothing i can really do about that but what i can do is i can help you out on the felonies because that's what we found all right seem fair okay yeah that's pretty fair all right hang hang out right here real quick and i'll be right back okay All right. Priest, can you hear me? Okay. So, the black off-road vehicle, you remember that one? (laughs) The one where Priest was with, right? Yeah, the one that Priest stopped. So, apparently, that's our dealer. And he bought the drugs from him from 883. He then ended up over at Yellow Jack, and I guess he saw that we were in the area shortly after he left, so he wanted to change cars. He took the ruiner. So I told him that we can we can take it easy on him. We can drop the charges of uh, possession of methamphetamine and possession of the weed, uh, but still charge him with the uh, Grand Theft Auto. That was my question. Is he, gonna be, is he being charged for Grand Theft Yes. Can't bring arrest report. Go ahead, drop the possession of drug paraphernalia and all that crap. Yeah, everything drug related. Drop. Just charge them with the grand theft auto, and then we'll cut them loose. Okay. Just make sure that you find them before you do cut them loose. Check four. Footage from the vehicle arriving at that bank is upstairs in evidence. All right. Um whenever we can we need to get PC on that vehicle and pull it over alright there's a arrest report alright I'll uh is I'll... there a report do I still include drugs I mean, no. Deal with me or... no don't don't mention any of it in the report or anything like that right. um okay. you're gonna find him for Grand Theft Auto and that's it after you find them, you can cut them loose. Okay. Hopefully, he'll, uh, we'll hold on real quick. Sorry. All right, look. Here's what we're going to do, all right? So, we're going to charge you with Grand Theft Auto, but what we're going to do is we're going to cut you loose, all right? So he's going to give you a, a citation for the Grand Theft Auto. Um, hopefully, you can set up a meeting or something like that. And I don't know. Do you have what's your phone number? Oh yeah, I know. In your phone. Hang on, so it'll be car. In your, it'll be. Hopefully, you can hear me. Go to settings, and it'll be your phone number at the very top. Oh, uh, my number is four three four five two one zero.
Just to make sure I heard. Four three four five two one zero. That's correct. All right. I just right. sent you a message that says test. Does that work? Send me a message. I did. Yeah. It says test. Did you get it? Gosh darn it. Uh, no, I didn't. You might have to put that dash in there if you didn't read that. No, I didn't. That might be why you have that big dash has to be in. If you also sent you a test message with my name attached to it, did you get anything? Yeah, I got it. All right, what's yeah, your number again? Dash has to be in there. I got it for you. Phone number is going to be 434-5210. All right, did you get that message? Yeah, I did. All right. So set up a deal and try to try to meet with them, and then notify us. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, Officer Death here is going to show you out. All right. So make sure that you try to get that get on that uh that deal ASAP. Agreed? Agreed. Cool. All right, sir, just for your protection and mine, you're just going to be handcuffed and detained only until we get out of the cell block. Once we get back upstairs, we'll go ahead and I'll uncuff you, get the last few charges onto you, and you'll be free to go from there. Sound fair? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh, it was my fault. You're good. You're good. I know. I know. It's out of character. I understand. All right. So, like I said, you're just being briefly detained until we get out of the cell block. That way it makes my life easier than yours. Yeah, you the shirts don't work with better. Sandy Shores. I tried. Oh, Craig. Mm. I know. Um, I don't know if you heard, but... Huh? I don't know if you heard, but... He should hit us up here in a little bit uh, for a uh, exchange. Okay, try and move around for a little bit. Excuse me. Say again. Try and move around. Can you move around right now? Or are you still stuck in the shirt? Oh, uh, right, 74, I think. It's a class B thing on you, and you'll be free here. Seventy six. There it is. Yep. Knew it was one of them. Alrighty, what this is, it's just like I said, it's a charge from the state. How you choose to go about paying it is up to you and the state. They choose payment plans or however you want to. That's on our end. Here. Five five one direct. Good. Suspect's been released back into the public. Advise him to follow whatever instructions he gave you. you gave. Ten four. Try to keep the radio chatter about that to a minimum. Five five ten six. Brand report.
Hey. Yellow. All right. So people have scanners. There's apps on phones and stuff like that. So if you mention anything about instructions or anything like that, you're going to blow it. So you don't have to give me a, a radio shout out that somebody's being released or anything like that. You just release them. No worries. Just letting you know. Just future reference. Can do. What's going on, man? Is this some mentality problem? Uh, really quickly, out of character, did the server just hiccup? Melo trainer got restarted, caused the hiccup to occur. Ah, uh, 10 4. I don't know what your freaking deal is, dude. That was weird. And now we wait.
Hey, don't put this on the radio or anything like that, but O'Neill's Brothers Farm over in Grapeseed. That's where they're meeting. So, kind of get into the area and uh, wait for further instructions. 104, what's the goal for post? What's the post of that area? I don't know. It's. I remember he's not too raw here. It's um, 897, I believe. Nothing crazy. All right, yeah, all right. All right. About finished with our report, I'll be heading that way. I'll stake somewhere, maybe on. All right, we'll we'll coordinate it in a or minute. I got to call priest. Yeah, I got to call priest. He just wants to talk. Hey, O'Neill uh, Brothers Farm over in Grapeseed, that's where they're meeting. It should be pretty soon, so I got Death and myself headed in that area. <laughs> Sounds good. I'll head that way. Alright. Douchebag.
Hey, are you okay? I'm okay. He started shooting at me. I didn't even get a chance to talk to him. He was I, he was up on a water tower up in the farm. He took off in a, a black rebel Karen. All right. Well, we'll definitely uh, try to get him. He said he's in a, a rebel Karen. Uh, uh, Karen rebel. Sorry. Okay. All right. Well, we'll get him, man. Okay, do you guys need me for anything else? Nope, you're good to go. I, I think we put you in you enough harm's way. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Hey, did did he talk to you? Negative. I didn't hear any contact with. Him. Okay. Eight oh two. But I'll tell Good. both of y'all at the same time. A uh, black Karen Rebel pickup truck was uh, seen leaving the area. Subject was on top of the water tower. As soon as our informant got on location, he was immediately engaged by the subject. He took off in that truck back towards, I believe, Seaview. Yeah, when he got up, he was negative contact on my end. Yeah. I came in from the south. I'm over there. Boy. Yeah. Let's all get back to the Sandy Shores area. All right, let him Well, that was a botch. Ten four, black carrying rebel. Yep, ten four. Ten four, negative contact, CVU to Joshua. Ten four. Negative contact, Union Road leading to Snore Freeway. I got one here at the gas station in Sandy. Dead boy, I have a black Karen rare bull panorama in Alaha. We have any other identifiers? In Negative. The one over here is going to be still running over by the maintenance area. Dead boy, this was occupied time. Say again, you cut yourself off. Occupied times one on Alhambra and route toward the. I'm brought to him. Uh, attempt to 38 on it. Um, stay with me. We're gonna go across the street. Eight or two drivers. Eight or two, go ahead. Alhambra, Nyland Avenue, Black four door correction two door rebel 4729 sam correction 62 boy john david doof, doof, doof. sandy shores police department anybody home 1720 
Eight or two, I'm over the clear, unrelated Adam. 10425 with us over here. Sandy Shores Police Department, is anybody inside? Are you okay? I just heard glass break. Do we have any active EMS? I just had an ambulance going down Joshua back towards Panorama. Yeah, it might have been Adam Ida. I think it uh ten zero. Uh, it's 28 on that uh, Sanchez. Yeah, somebody 25 with me over here. Driver, pull your vehicle to the side of the road. Leaving the area for the gun. Where's he at? Where's he at? Gonna be Nylon Avenue 842. He's on foot running uh, northbound towards Marina. You good? You hear them shots, officer? Oh, five ten fifty four. Yeah, was it near you? Five suspect maybe Adam Ida. Yeah, it sounded real near. You come from behind this house? Uh, just south of it, or from at least where I'm standing. Okay. Sounds like, but uh, you know, while I got you here, this guy's been sending me some threatening messages. I think he's out to kill me now. Is, uh, is, he, is he wanting in between Is the, he uh, wanting to uh, meet with you or anything like that? No, he's just threatening that if he sees me, he's gonna kill me. 
I got gotcha. you. Uh, see, uh, after our last encounter, you said you messed up big time. You should be afraid of the men in black. Uh, we'll find you soon enough. So, uh, I think you put a hit out on me. He might have, but they're not going to be able to get to you. I'm just, I'm trying to keep as close as I can to the police station, man, nowadays. I mean, I'm just hanging out right now. I got you. If you want, you can stay at the police station. If you really want, if I'm allowed to, I'll stay at the police station and protect you. Yeah. He wants to meet me at the hotel on Algonquin. All right, we'll be we'll be close by. Send me a message. We will be close by if you if you want to do it. I can't I can't force you. All right. Just go around, dude. What are you doing? Go! Jeez. Headed to Sandy Shores Bank for a play. Good. 
zero seven John Mary Queen one four one zero seven JMQ one four one being a black. Not on file. Tim. What's up? Went and talked to the informant a bit more for y'all. When y'all left, he's advising he really doesn't want to get caught up on this person anymore. He gave me the best description he could. White male, black jacket. He's not sure if he's driving that tricked out truck for last for best I can think of or still in the parry. Supposedly, from what I gather, he's wanted to meet him at the Algonquin Hotel. Apparently right out in front. And that's all the information I got. I advised him you might want to go to the station if you uh, if you really feel that much more endangered. So. All right. I'm at the hotel. I don't see anything. Yeah, ten four. Just figured I'd give you an update on this. I didn't want to use radio in case you've got the uh, radio on lock right now. So. Yeah. If you wanted to meet him out front, he's probably more than likely going to shoot at him. Like he did last time. There's a lot of build. There's a lot of rooms in that area to clear. I just got. I just took a round. So you took a on. Hey, officer, round. I'll walk up over at the hotel. He was in that area, 802, to your left. He's Death. The, uh, Need you. The bike. What's up? Shot the subject on the bike. I believe so. I'm. I'm unsure. I just heard shots. Go ahead and roll EMS. We got one subject down off of a sand chip.
802, I got a vehicle taking off from the Ace Liquor Store. I'm Fucking move, you fat motherfucker. Westbound Joshua Road. Vehicle looks to be an older model. Disregard that vehicle. Oh my god, just work with me, you stupid controller. Where'd he hit you at? <laughs> 501, I'm out with the body. If you would roll a signal forty eight. Ten four. If he's got no pulse, he's probably not breathing. And you never know. Yeah, I do. Breathing goes before the pulse does.
there and. <laughs> Disregard that last call out. Uh, so we don't really have any description except for that black rebel in that city, is it? If he's still even driving. Hold on. Type in a warrant. You're good. Panorama Drive, mail fight in progress. Probably at the yellow jack. I didn't see that call out. Two hundred five one. Go ahead. Do you guys want photos? Of what? Any scene that you have over there. I can come over and get screenshots if you want. No, we've cleared the scene. Ten four. Units be advised there's been a warrant issued for Sticky Ricky, who is the owner of that uh, black off road. He is uh, wanted in connection with the murder of our last subject. I'm a solid copy. Dispatch 501. Go ahead. What was the vehicle plate? USI 379, I believe. Ten four. Oh, five, eight, or two. Do you remember or recall the drivers of that that off-road? Did he advise where they were? Tip or it was going to be a meet that's over here off of Joshua and Panorama, the dirt road section. But Two five oh five. Five oh five. The section you're in now is a part of the national park up there over there and they're off roading, that's a a fence team is
Hey, they're too far. Go ahead. Got him over here, jumping the plateau just to the left of the airport. If you're facing outbound on Joshua, right? One of them's on a dune buggy. Your last seen going westbound toward Joshua on the dune buggy. Yep. Or just so we're clear, the doom buggy is not the vehicle that I stopped. I guess he uh he ten zeroed because he was right over here right where i'm at and uh he's not here anymore ten more that dirt road from route 68 to joshua's Eastbound toward the airport, that is. So I've not checked. The dirt road's on leading to Joshua. Too. I've got eyes on that vehicle attempting to track. Buggy. Samir with the 
driver of the vehicle. He was in that black zipped up car. Doesn't particularly like him, so if he comes back out, they're gonna give us a call. What's this guy's name? So yeah, what's this guy's name? I honestly don't know. I didn't run him. You did a traffic stop and you didn't run his name? No, it was... He pulled into the gas station. I rolled up beside him and gave him a warning. So you can't tell me for certain that that's not Sticky Ricky. Oh, no, I can't. But if Sticky Ricky is driving a big old pumped up car, why would it be in a trash dune buggy? I don't know. Probably because he knows we're looking for him. Does he though? He has to. Hey, hold on. Are you live?